Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, my name is Bemi Abiola. Welcome. First off, Happy New Year. I know this year was a very draining year for everybody mentally, physically, financially, emotionally, in every sense of in every sense, basically. People passed away this year who didn't get to see the new year. And it's just, it's just be, it's just been like a weird dream for a lot of us. Um, never thought this would happen. Um, hopefully, 2021 is a lot better for everybody. We can get back to doing out what we love, going out, seeing everybody. Rona goes away or is significantly minimized, so we can go back to doing what we need to do. We don't have to worry about getting sick. Yeah, hopefully, 2021 is better. Starting off this new year, I'm going to be doing a complexion review, basically, and wear test. Urban Decay just released this new, um, I don't even know what the heck this is. This is the Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. This is out on their website. Um, I don't know if it's out on Sephora yet, but um, they did send this to me to try so i decided that i would just review it for you guys and see how i like it before we get into this video i'd appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel down below also turn on post notifications so you don't miss any future video uploads from me as well if you are interested please keep on watching if you are not please stop right here it's not worth your time and effort so without further ado let's jump in Okay guys, so this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. So, just by the name, it sounds like it's a tinted moisturizer, but according to the details, it sounds like a foundation. Like, it's it's worded differently on the Urban Decay website and then like retailers that it'll be coming to. On Urban Decay, they view it as like a medium, medium coverage skin tint. And then like on Sephora and Ulta, even though it hasn't released yet, they mention it as a foundation. I don't understand. I'm just gonna read what the description says. It's a long wear tinted, hyd tinted hydrator infused with kombucha filtrate, emerald oil for 30% more hydrated skin. It's a medium coverage and a glowy finish. Um, it's packed with nourishing ingredients that leave skin feeling more hydrated after 24 hours. Buildable medium coverage with just enough to look like your real skin with an added healthy glow that stays fresh and wears for up to 24 hours. Goes great with all skin types, even oily and is non-comedogenic. Minimizes pores and imperfections with a smooth blurring effect while evening skin tone and texture. The highlighted ingredient is kombucha filtrate, which is antioxidant rich to, bri to brighten and detoxify, increasing skin's luminosity. Marilla oil, which hydrates, protects, and seals in hydration. For a tinted moisturizer or a skin tan, it's usually sheer to very, very light coverage. So, um, I don't know what Urban K was doing by calling this like skin tint, a medium coverage skin tint. It's a foundation. The global availability for the US and Canada, it's available right now on UrbanDecay.com. It launched on December 28th. Um, it'll be at retailers in the US January 2nd online, Canada January 3rd. Mexico, it'll be available on Urban Decay in Mexico end of January, early February. Hey, Costa Rica, Guatemala, Argentina, Panama. It will be available in stores in January, early mid-January. Peru will be available in April. UK and the rest of Europe. It's right now available. It's available right now on UrbanK.co.uk, um, Cult Beauty, and um, retailers mid to late January. Um, Italy, Switzerland, Benelux. It's available online at Benelux right now, but it'll be online from mid-January, online in-store mid-January to the beginning of March. So it varies from place to place. Same thing with Finland, Scandinavia, Balkans, Austria, Czech Republic, the United Arab Emirates. So between February and March, you should be getting this in store and online um, in Europe. Asia, it will be available mid to late January. All right, so Urban Decay did send me this. They sent me Deep 81, which is um, 
the shade that I wear in their Stay Naked foundation. Can also work with the shade 80 as well. There's 12 shades of this and I'm just wondering why there's 12 shades because Urban Decay did such a good job with the original Stay Naked line, which I think there's like 39 or 40 shades. Let me just double check. There's 50 colors. Okay, there's 50 colors of the original Stay Naked. So I'm just like, how did you go from 50 to 10? Like, it doesn't make any sense. But I'm guessing that it's like one for like each five color, like every five colors, I think. But still, that doesn't make any sense. Like. How do you go from having 50 colors to 10 of these? I don't understand. I'm just here to try this out for you. So you may or may not find your color in this. I'm just gonna say it right now. You may or may not find your color in this. I'm just lucky that they. this is my exact match or like one of the two matches that I could wear. But for, for everybody, it's not ideal. For my primer today, I'm gonna be using the Exa Beauty Jumpstart Smoothing Primer. This is not a mattifying primer, and it's not a hydrating primer. It's kind of like a good like smoothing primer. I'm just gonna apply this all over my face with my hands, as per usual. Now I'm gonna go into the, the Skin Tint Slash Foundation. Um, obviously this is what the bottle looks like. I like squeezy tube packaging. Number one, you can control how much you want. I do like pump packaging, but sometimes like you can't get everything out and then you have to try to open it and it's just a whole mess. But I like the squeezy tube packaging. I think that's a good enough size. If I need to add more, I'll add more. First off, I'm gonna just quickly color correct my face. This is the Rare Beauty Concealer and 530 and now we're getting into the foundation like I said it's on the mixing plate mm -hmm. yeah that's a good color gonna tap that in this is a foundation what is urban decay doing saying that this is a skin tint this is just a hydrating foundation i <laughs> you guys can see it literally compared to the other side of my face if you can see like Spots and stuff, it covered all the spots on my face. I like the coverage though, it's good medium coverage. I like the, I like the coverage of it. I like how it looks good. It's not like, it doesn't look overly hydrating, it looks more of a satin finish to me. But yeah, it just covered all of my acne spots and blemishes. I covered them up real quick. Now that that's on, I like the coverage. I like how it's making my skin look. I like how it feels on my skin. It doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel anything on my skin. It's. It looks very nice. It looks very luminous. It looks like skin, so. This would also be very perfect right now because it is winter time and it's very cold right now. So I could see myself wearing this throughout winter as well. I am going to go into my concealer. I'm gonna be using the Stay Naked Concealer in 70 and Y to just highlight my face. I thought since this is reviewing the new Urban Decay, I should just use some other Urban Decay things. And then I'm just gonna cream bronze today. I don't wanna do like a full like highlight.
highlighting and contouring whatsoever. Um, I'm going to just use Fenty Beauty matchsticks in espresso. To add some warmth back to my face. blend out the concealer. You can't let this concealer sit for long because once it sets, it does not want to move. That's why I found with the concealer. I'm going to just set my concealer. This is the Chanel um, loose powder. This is in the shade 30 Natural. I'm just going to set So far, I'm loving the luminosity of the way my skin looks just by setting. It, it doesn't feel heavy and it looks healthy. So, um, so far, like just the texture and appearance, I'm happy so far with this skin tint foundation. But we shall see how this wear test does. And then I'm just gonna set the rest of my face with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Dark Deepest, just lightly powdering. My skin, after I've powdered my face, I am going to finish my makeup off camera and I will be right back. All right, y'all, so I finished my makeup. I love the way my skin looks. It's very glowy. It looks very healthy. I love the way that it feels on my face. It just feels like makeup. It doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel oily. It doesn't feel sticky. So I really, really like that. The time right now, if this will focus, focus, is 10.31 a.m. December 31st. So I'm going to come back in a few hours for a time check. Probably when I come back from work and after running a couple errands out and about. So I'll come back maybe around like 2, 3 o'clock, see how my face looks, and just give you an update. And then I'll come back at the end of the day to let you know how this wears and to give my final thoughts on this foundation tinted moisturizer thing because I'm still very confused. So I will see you guys later. Hey okay, guys. So, it's the end of the day, you can tell, because I have no lashes on my face. Normally by the end of the day, I, I peel off my lashes and I keep going, but yeah, it's the end of the day. Um, the time is 6.58 p.m. So, it's been basically eight and a half hours since I finished my makeup and I started this wear test. I definitely like the way my skin is looking um, I have not blotted my face at all during the day so you definitely can see I have shininess in my t-zone area but on the rest of my face not much shine at all basically lives up to what it says it's it's a very glowy foundation it's a hydrating foundation so um, it looks good it, it's not like overly dewy and overly like hydrating it looks good it looks good on the face so props up for it holding up well over this eight hours because um i've tried various hydrating foundations by the way i forgot to mention my skin type my skin type is a uh, combo oily i tend to be more oily in the center of my face and then more normal around the perimeter of my face but during winter i can be a little bit dry sometimes so that's my skin type but yeah it's it's not overwhelmingly like hydrating glowy um when i use hydrating foundations usually a lot of the time it like completely has broken up in the middle of my face because that's where i get oily um the quickest it's completely broken up i'm literally like greasy i'm shining but with this i'm not really grease super greasy super shining and i kind of like it so it definitely holds up to the glow the all day moisture, staying hydrated, a dewy, juicy, healthy glow. So it stays up to that. So 
I wonder how it will look after 24 hours. So let's get into the shades. There are 12 shades of this, which I don't understand why there are 12 shades. Urban Decay for the Stay Naked line, they had 50 shades. So I was expecting them to kind of transfer the 50 shades from that foundation over to this one it makes no sense like you have the mattifying version and you have this new like hydrating tint foundation version i would have expected them just to basically copy and paste so i'm very disappointed to see that they only have 12 shades i'm very lucky that this is one of the shades that i use in the regular stay naked collection um also i can use the shade 80 as well I can bounce between those two so I have two shades that I can easily use undertones are something the undertones for this range from neutral to warm not everybody's neutral and not everybody's warm there are people with olive blue strong pink strong gold slight pink peach there are people with multiple other undertones that can't use this because these only run in neutral and warm said they should have just taken the 50 shades that they made in the original stay naked line and just flipped them over to this it just would have made way more sense is a foundation a skin tint would give minimal coverage light sheer coverage this is medium to full coverage you can easily make this a full coverage foundation the price for the hydromaniac foundation is 29 dollars, and you do get 1.1 fluid ounces or 35 milliliters so standard amount for the industry a foundation that you get in a decent price um most foundations are usually like 30 dollars plus so this is under 30 dollars so it's a decent price for the amount that you get so yeah that's what my thoughts are definitely urban k still has some work to do i would love to see them add more shades to this hydrating foundation definitely they need to add the other 38 shades that they have in the regular stay naked line to this line um because people with dry skin i can see that they'll really like this foundation a lot um people with oily skin this would be a really good wintertime foundation, definitely, because I don't look overly greasy. I look healthily dewy. I don't look greasy. I don't look like it's melting off my face. I look like a healthy, dewy vibe on my face right now, just after eight hours. So this would definitely be a good, good foundation for everybody. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts on this foundation would you pick it up if you have a shade match to try would you pick it up if you have dry skin to try let me know in the comments down below don't forget to follow me on my social media my instagram and twitter are at femmes abiola and yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are happy happy new year i pray that your 2021 will be amazing it'll be a lot better for everybody versus 2020 which was not that great so i hope that 2021 is a lot better for everybody and yeah i will see you all in my next video bye guys